Boom! Hi! Welcome back! Today we are putting Windows 11 inside your computer. Installing Windows today might seem a little bit complicated, but trust me, it's way, way easier than it looks. There are just a few key tips that can save you time, and we'll even cover how to set up a clean, super optimized version of Windows without all that junk that Microsoft loves to sneak in. Hi, I'm Federico, and today we are going to get Windows up and running the fastest and cleanest way possible in three stupid simple steps. First of all, grab yourself your favorite drink because it may take a while. Now get a USB stick with at least 8GB, even though I'd suggest 16 just in case. Next, you need two computers, or just one if you are formatting and reinstalling. We'll also need a program called Rufus to make the USB bootable. Now a super pro tip from me. Back up your files. Do it now, please. And then, after you're done, do it again. Then check what you did, because there is nothing worse than realizing that all your cat pics are gone forever. And now we are ready for the step number one. In your computational device, open PowerShell as an administrator. Be careful, not the common prompt, we need PowerShell. Once it's open, type this. IRM, open quotation mark, HTTPS, colon, slash, slash, chrisstitus.com, slash win, close quotation mark, space, this weird symbol, and then IEX. This will launch a super useful tool from Chris Titus that will make our lives a lot easier. Now go to the microwind section, select get newest ISO automatically, and then pick your language and hit get Windows ISO. It might look like nothing's happening, but in the other PowerShell window, you can check the progress of your operation. Nothing sketchy is happening, this tool is using the official Microsoft tool to download the latest Windows eyes. Once the download is done, you can pick the Windows version that you want, create an user account and leave the password blank for auto login and hit start the process. Name and save your ISO in an easy to reach location and then let the program do its thing. While it's going, I'll explain what this tool is doing for you. It will disable telemetry and data tracking so Microsoft won't be able to spy on you. It also eliminates unnecessary process and some of the useless software that's baked into Windows right now. We will be also able to install Windows 11 to older machines that doesn't respect the ridiculous minimum requirements but are perfectly capable of running it. And finally, we won't be forced to create a Microsoft Online account in order to use Windows. While the program is still going, if you're installing Windows on a laptop like me, this is a good time to go to the manufacturer website and download the network drivers for your computer, so we will be able to connect to the Wi-Fi later. And now let's get ready for step 2. Now that we have our ISO, it's time to put it in the USB stick and make it bootable. Open Rufus, choose your USB from the menu and then select Disk or ISO from the menu and then click Select to open the ISO you've just made. You can leave everything else as is and hit Start. It will ask you to do some magic, but we already done that in the microwind tool. Rufus will also warn you that it's about to erase everything from that drive, so make sure you're okay with that. Which you are, right? Right? This will take a few minutes, so if you have multiple disks in your computer, this is the right time to check which one is the one with Windows. Open the Disk Management tool by going to the Start menu and write Disk Manager, or hit the Windows key plus X and select it from the menu. Once there, check which drive is labeled with the letter C. In my case, it's Disk 2. That will make it easier to pick the right drive during the installation. Get your computer and stick that USB into your favorite port. Turn on your computer and go to the BIOS, usually smashing repeatedly F2 or Dell during the boot up. And if you still have Windows on this machine and the previous method didn't work, you can go to the command prompt and write shutdown slash R slash FW. This will force Windows to restart to the BIOS. Once you're in, search for the boot option and set the USB stick as the first option. Every BIOS is slightly different, so this is the maximum amount of help I can give you for this step. Now hit F10 which is the universal BIOS key to save and exit and let the computer restart. This will lead you to the Windows installation menu. From here you can just follow the instruction on screen. Sorry, the text is in Italian here but that's my true nature. However, the interface is stupid simple and you can figure out what I'm doing. 
Here you can select your language and time format, then it will ask you about the keyboard layout. In the next screen you can choose if you want to repair your PC or do a fresh install. Of course we want to do a fresh install, so we also have to check this box that says everything is going to be deleted and then hit next. Here you can add your product key, or if you want to activate Windows later, click here where it says that you don't have a product key. Next is the license agreement. Hit accept and go on. This is the part where we choose on what disk we want to install Windows. Usually on a laptop you will have only one disk but multiple partitions. Select all of them one by one and hit delete partition. If you are on a desktop and you have many hard drives, delete the partitions only on the disk with the letter C that we checked before. Be extra sure of what are you doing here, otherwise you will lose something that maybe you did not backup. This is the last screen with a recap of what we selected before. We are ready to install. Once we are here on this blue screen, we can unplug the USB drive. If we forgot to do that, when the computer will restart, it, it will go at the beginning of the installation again. But don't worry, just unplug the USB drive and forcefully restart your PC and you will go on from where it stopped. Now just wait for it to complete the process. Once everything is done, you'll have a fresh install of Windows. But we are not done yet. It's time to install some essential programs and tweak your operating system to the perfection. Open the terminal as admin and rerun the Chris Titus tool. Under install, check off any program you want, like Chrome, Discord or Steam, maybe. This will avoid you the hassle of manually downloading every single one of them, and while the hardest part of this process is scrolling through the giant list, maybe you won't find all the programs you need, but at least a good part of them are there, so this will save a lot of time. Next, in the Tweak tab, choose Standard and uncheck the first two. Since we have just installed our system, there is no need for a restore point or a temporary file cleanup. Check also the Advanced Tweaks. I personally hate OneDrive, so I always remove it. You can even set your DNS from here. If you're not sure what it is, leave it as it is, go with Google or Cloudflare for solid internet performance. To quickly end this, go to Config and pick any features you want, or skip to Updates if you like, and pick your preferred option. And that's it, now just install whatever software your game you like, customize your wallpaper and color scheme, and transfer your data back. This video is over, if you liked it, please subscribe, leave a comment if you want or even consider supporting me on Patreon, or maybe just watch another video I've made. But until the next time, goodbye!